So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Autumn Wind. Now for a recap, a quick recap anyways, for PvE, the god roll for me is Hammer Forge Rifling, Appended Mag, Demolitionist, Adrenaline Junkie, and a range masterwork. Now the reason why we are going with those two perks in the final trait columns is because grenades are the powerhouse to destiny. They are the king, the creme de la creme, so to speak, of getting back all of your other abilities like your super, your melee, class abilities, etc, etc. So I would heavily invest into grenade builds when it comes to PvE content. Now for PvP, where this weapon absolutely shines, there are a number of different perks and trait combinations that you can absolutely go for, but I highly recommend going for Hammer Forge Rifling, either high caliber rounds or ricochet rounds. I personally like the high caliber rounds. It does knock your targets back a little bit more. And then I'm also going to include in that third trait column, I'm going to go with Range Finder and Perpetual Motion. Demolitionist will work here but I'm really going for those easy passive benefits that make the uh, weapon a lot more consistent and perpetual motion. All you have to do is move around. You get passive benefits um, for range finder. I mean, you're just aiming down sights. Boom, you get a zoom magnification increase. It increases your range. Killing wind is a fantastic trait, but you gotta get a kill to get it to work. Slideways is okay, it's decent, but you're sliding around a lot. So if you're one of those players that slides all the time, this will be a good perk for you. Now for my final trait column, I like Head Seeker. Head Seeker is fantastic, but if you're trying to get that um, TTK down, you definitely want to go with Multi Kill Clip. It does provide that damage increase, and we also have other ways to combat and get that damage down. We do have um, Swashbuckler, we do have um, Adrenaline Junkie, Frenzy, stuff like that. So we do have some damage dealing perks here that will decrease the TTK time, and that's really what you want inside of PvP. For me though, I do like Elemental Capacitor, so if I had to give it up, I would be going with either Multi-Kill Clip or Elemental Capacitor. So those are my god rolls for PvP, Hammer Forge Rifling, High Caliber Rounds, Range Finder or Perpetual Motion, whichever you get or whichever you like, and then Multi-Kill Clip or Elemental Capacitor. And of course, we can't leave out the Range Masterwork. And that's gonna do it for me, guys. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. I will have more videos coming out in the near future. I thank you all so much for the support. It has been overwhelming. Thank you all so much once again. Now, if you have any video recommendations or anything that you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments down below. I do have some more videos, like I said, coming up. And I also will be doing a part two for the bow video. Um, unfortunately, I have not been able to um, jump on anyone's account recently to play with Hierarchy of Needs again. So I'm currently trying to grind that out. And once I do, I will have that part two for the bow video. So please stay tuned for that. I also have some builds coming up. I think you guys will be very interested in. And um, yeah, if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And I will see you all in the next video. I hope you all have a wonderful day.